Hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? That's what I like to hear. There we go. Everyone's wide awake. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> GDQ. So, do we know who I'm running? Plague or Spectre? Absolutely. It looks like Plague of Shadows did indeed win. Yes! <laughs> as much as I love Spectre, Spectre is my son, but Plague does not get enough love, and I am so excited to be showing exactly why this character deserves a second look from everyone. And a lot of people who played this game was like, man, Plague Knight's super tricky. I'm going to show you exactly what this green dude is capable of. So I'm going to set up a new file. That's what it's going to look like when I finish. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Please remind me if I forget anything. And I'm going to start by setting up the file. Uh, this is a cheat code that enables a special color armor for the character. We allow these for runners because this is purely cosmetic, uh, and it'll add, it'll add a little bit more personality to the run. And you can still get Steam achievements while yes. you have them on. Yeah, that was actually patched in at some point because even the developers were like, yo, the runners love doing this, sure. This is completely harmless. So time will start when I select choose this profile. Let me introduce my uh, my my co-commentators here. This is David TKI. Hello, I run all nights any percent. <laughs> and this is Troy of Athens. I, I run any percent for this game. And I have run 50 categories for this game? Every single category for this game, <laughs> even the ones you've never heard of. Especially the ones you've never heard of. And yes. some not known to men, but only speed frog. I mean frogs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, with that said, uh, I am ready to begin. Uh, let's count it down. Time starts when I select yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, I forgot to do something. Uh, never mind. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, not never mind. Okay, everything's totally fine. <laughs> everything's totally fine. You didn't see a thing. Everything's uh, fine. So we can actually explain that really quick. So uh, I'm playing on a DualShock 5, and that is Droid to Key, which is another thing that is helpful for especially categories like this, because um, basically I'm playing on PC, and you can actually swap very quickly between your sub-weapons later on. Um, Droid to Key makes it so that keyboard runners don't have a huge advantage over controller runners, and we like to make this as accessible as possible for everyone. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be doing that later. It's set up for Plague Knight, um, and we've already been going. This is Plague Knight. Look at him go. Uh, so Plague Knight, whenever you do a charged attack, you burst, you explode, you go forward really, really fast. It actually... Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> Eye frames. Get used to those movement noises. It's very, very tight, but there are a couple of frames after you burst where you are actually completely invincible, which we will absolutely be using throughout the run. Um, that said, um, I'm already collecting a bunch of stuff. Uh, these are the Cypher coins, and I need that music sheet. And I need a ton of money. I need like 42,069 gold for some reason. Um, I'm actually going to be keeping track very closely of what my coin count is throughout the run. Uh, typically speaking, it's not too hard to remember um, how many I need at any specific moment. There are just a couple tells that I'll have. But you're going to see me going through basically every room in the game. By the way, the color code made me pink. <laughs> if you've been wondering, hmm, I remember Plague Knight being green. Um, this is my favorite color, so this is the one that uh, the, the cheat code activated. You know, every day some ignorant Plague Knight gets in a washing machine just like this one. If you think that's fun, you're really washed up. David, please. <laughs> so, so that's the other reason I'm on the couch here, is I'm supposed to make jokes to throw him off his game. Oh, give me this. Kind of need that coin. Uh, you'll notice that Plague Knight gets knocked back very far when he gets hit. Um, Plague Knight is hard to control, as I mentioned, and Plague Knight actually has more knockback than any of the other characters. Uh, we're going to be using that to our advantage, and health is absolutely a resource throughout this run. Um, there's a high likelihood of me... As they mentioned, uh, screaming in terror. Um, that's not just because of like, oh, I'll take damage and die. No, 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 no. Mostly I'm going to be ending careening um, over pits, maybe into pits, hopefully not. And we're coming up on the first boss, Black Knight. Um, so Black Knight actually, very similar to the Shull Knight version of this fight. I'm, there's no splits. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can stun lock Black Knight. Uh, however, it's very tricky because of the boss. So I'm gonna try and get up the corner, good. Yeah, we're going to be using that green moss at the bottom of the stage as a visual cue for where to position ourselves. Yes! And then just time the flasks. Unlike getting to just swing your shovel and be like, oh, I press it rhythmically. Uh, you can't do that with the bombs because the bombs deal damage delayed. So, like, I have to really focus on that. <laughs> All right, so now that we've cleared the first stage, I have 30 coins. That's great. There's basically 30 in most of the stages. However, I'm going to the, um, the hub st sort of stage for, for Plague Knight. Uh, we are not heroes. We are villains. We're not welcome in the town. 
Um, and if you really thought the Plague Knight was the nicest of dudes, I mean, he is a gentle being, of course, but I'm going to be destroying my henchman's house uh, just to get home. He's fine. Wait, he's a henchman? A hedge, I thought that was just... Oh. A hedgeman? Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> An edgeman. No, that's for spec. No, I, I was know. just mishearing things. <laughs> so, I'm in the Potionarium soon. Uh, this is my lovely assistant, Mona. Uh, everyone loves Mona. But we will not be getting to watch her dance, unfortunately. Gotta go fast. I will be returning here after every stage, which is fantastic, because I'll be doing a lot of upgrades later on. I'll need the green coins to get those upgrades. Uh, and first things first, I'm going to Pride More Keep. You do have some choice in which stages you'll go to first. Um, Pride More will have uh, a little bit easier money to get. Um, we also will be picking up a good sub weapon. Um, that first stage, Planes, Planes of Passage, was kind of like a tutorial level. And you'll really know that because uh, now I can actually break checkpoints, which is uh, a blessing and a curse. It's very blurst. Ah! I'm good. <laughs> and now you have even more risks of dying. Yeah. Um, we now have checkpoints that I can break and side rooms and sub weapons. Those are the things that kind of define actual quotation mark stages, plus a boss. Um, but the first stage had that. So the side rooms. These are mostly Shovel Knight stages. However, to account for the fact that Plague Knight has very different controls, um, they made rooms that only he can access, and they have their design entirely around his abilities. AKA, they are extremely cursed. Um, these are some of the hardest rooms throughout the run, and dang. Uh, there are lots of very unique things that I'll be doing throughout all of these rooms. Um, I'm specifically going here, not just because there's coins here, uh, but I'm picking up Shovel Knight's weapons. They're worthless relics to me. I don't need them. <laughs> we sell them. We sell them. That's correct. <laughs> so normally, uh, Chester would have them. I'm going to be supplying them to Chester. Uh, and in exchange for that, Chester's going to be giving me Arcana, which are the sub-weapons for Plague Knight. Um, you'll notice that Plague Knight has a power resource in the top left. That's his sub-weapon ammo. Uh, I assure you this is exactly totally fine. Nailed it. <laughs> so can I say the thing in honor of Exploud? Please do. All right, so the sub-weapon that we are getting from this chest is going to be uh, Big Boom. And I love Big Boom! We love Big Boom. Um, Exploud is the premier big boom runner. I swear I can get back into this. Come on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's, 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 fun, it's funny how Plague contorts himself to fit into Shovel that. Shovel guy is what we call that. He's meant to go in there. Uh, so now I have big boom. I can actually use my sub weapon resource. And the way it works is it has um, a burnout style of uh, consumption. So if I keep using it, it'll eventually burn out. I won't be able to use it until it cools back down. Um, so long as the bar is green, I can use it and it won't burn out. If it's orange, then I will have to be very mindful of when I need it next. And I'm going to be going into another, not a, not a Plague Knight side room, but it's a side room for the music sheet. Is this one of those scary rooms? Okay, high five. Cool. Yes, it's one of those scary rooms. They're all scary rooms, <laughs> yeah. David. Anything with a bottomless pit. <laughs> Yeah, interesting mechanic here with the books. We largely don't need to use the platforms that it generates. This is why Plague Knight's so good. Look at him, he zooms. Yeah, he's got a double jump and then effectively a triple jump with all the bombs. All right, but I have to fight King Knight. This is a really hard fight because I need to actually set up King Knight to get pushed out of the corner. That's fine. Oh, didn't get it. It's okay. You can kind of make up this fight as you go along because Plague Knight is pretty good at recovering. Nice. Works. Let's clap for that. Yeah. It's okay, so weird thing about like boss fights with Plague Knight. So long as you're constantly dealing damage, even if it doesn't go exactly the way you want it to, you're probably gonna get a good time anyway. You just really need to be able to adapt to all the fights. That's one of the things that makes Plague Knight super tricky. Cause like I don't just get to be like, oh, I do this exact quick kill and then the boss dies every time. If I'm positioned ever so slightly differently, I need to kind of know everything that that boss will do. So we're not so much knowing the uh, quick kills as we are knowing the bosses. We really need to know the boss intimately to be able to actually deal with them. So here's our first Duck Knight, Quack. Um, these world map encounters will eat up a little bit of time if we leave them there, and they're full of money, so we're going to be trying to... Cool. Not die, um, <laughs> but get out as quickly as possible, and then it'll save time because they won't be shuffling on the map every time. I have 61 coins right now. If I'm ending in one right now, I know that I have the correct amount of coins at the moment. As far as money goes, um, so long as I have roughly X amount, frogs are terrible, um, at certain points of the run, then I'll know that I have what I need. So Lichyard, a far more horrifying stage, I would say. Um, side rooms are always going to like give me anxiety as I get into them. 
Yeah, the primary mechanic you're going to see with Lichyard is that some of the rooms are uh, dark with the occasional flash of lightning to uh, light them up so that you can see your way. But as speedrunners, we don't we don't need to see where we're going. We, we just go. Yeah, it's, okay. Excuse I, me, I'm, I'm trying to... I, uh, I could die. Please. Yeah, it took a lot of damage in that last. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he raised his sword up. I don't like it. I need to... I'm going to heal as soon as I possibly can. Please go away, sir. Please I don't do want that. me. Thank you. And there's food in this room. Give me that. This. Bye. Oh, okay. I can okay. relax now. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, you're you? making me tense. I'm not the one running. Uh, I like to describe some of my speed runs as me driving a off-road vehicle. Don't worry. I'm a trained professional. I may scream, but that's... Don't worry. I got <laughs> That's all part of the fun. <laughs> um, movement with Plague Knight. Super tight all the time. So I'm always going to be, like, clancing because, like, I might make it. <laughs> <I'm fine. laughs> okay. We swear we know what this room looks like. <laughs> I am always going to be trying to make sure I touch the ground at some point because that's the only way for me to get my double jump back. And I'm going to be heavily relying on the momentum that I get from throwing bombs. Yeah, there's just so much momentum with Plague Knight. Like, we haven't even mentioned that the bursting mechanic, we're kind of not using it the way it's intended. You're yeah. usually supposed to throw out a flask before each burst, but after each burst, there's a slight bit of time where you can just start charging another one. Sir? So you see a lot of burst, jump, burst. <laughs> I'll fight. Spikes are one-hit kills still. Oh. And always, always scary. <laughs> so are frogs. Frogs, frogs. frogs are scary. Of course not. Excuse me, sir. S excuse me, sir. Can I please have this? Thank you. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I think it's possible to lower the left platform with the frog. Oh, it is. Yeah. If they cooperate, which they never do. So uh, don't don't rely on the frog. They will not cooperate. All right. So the sub weapon for this stage, I'm actually not going to get, but I do need to go into this room to get that green coin. Um, it'll also make it easier. I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I'm going to um, get the sub weapon later on. I know I need to. I know I didn't forget it. Um, it just it gives you healing when you deal damage, um, which is. Not necessary. I know I'm taking a lot of damage. Shh, shh. Despite what it might seem, uh, Plague Knight generally does not worry for health most of the time. Yeah, it's it's very much intentional. I know where the food is. We're still in the early stages. Uh, Sweet we will slide. be getting health yes. up upgrades later. <laughs> okay, fine for safety. I'll grab this too. Yeah, this this last darkness room mm. is actually okay. A little bit easier than it seems. Usually the same pattern of bursting and jumping will get Good. you through it every time. We made it! When we get to Spectre Knight, we're going to burst Woo! right through the transition to get ourselves onto the upper platform. <sighs> okay, so this is a fight that you would normally do with Shovel Knight. Kind of similar way. I'm going to be trying to bully Spectre into this corner. Pray this will hit. It's just free damage. It doesn't. That's fine. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cool. Nice. Yeah, so the thing to Good understand look. with the uh, Plague's default loadout is he can customize his bombs. You can have different explosions, different arcs, different fuses. Yes. But his default loadout is very powerful, but only goes downward. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I forgot about that. How many Untouched. freebie achievements am I going to get? Yeah. Achievements are not a part of 100%. 100% is defined as getting 100% of the percentage points in this game. There is a category for achievements. Yes. Which I made and did. <laughs> <laughs> all feats, all bosses, 100%. I did that for uh, Shovel, Plague, and Spectre, and it took me like six and a half hours. I don't want to do it again, especially now that King is out, because it would take like 10 hours. <laughs> all right, so uh, we are still not doing any upgrades yet, um, but after we beat the first three stages, that's quote-unquote World 1, that means we get a free max health upgrade from Mona. Love Mona. Um, this is great because the stages only get harder, and I'll be taking more and more damage. Oh, God, Explodatorium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm always like, I know where I need to go, but then I always forget, like, oh yeah, this stage. So, <laughs> this is Plague Knight's home, technically. Um, it's terrible. He doesn't want to turn off the traps because we have a very certain blue burrower who is uh, about to be bullying us right behind us. Uh, these is, this story is technically happening ow, in tandem with uh, Shovel Knight's story. So he's somewhere around here, uh, which means I'll have to be dealing with him. And there's a very specific strategy for dealing with him. I need this, thank you. Without dying, thank you. Those rats are frightening. That's that iframe invincibility that you get from bursting, which you, you will be using in some very specific cases. Okay, so the uh, side room for this stage has 
what Plague Knight calls another worthless relic, which is really hilarious, because he made it, and he considers it worthless. It's the Alchemy Coin, which is, if you know Shovel Knight speedrunning, it's actually Shovel Knight's most time-saving weapon, hilariously. Um, this is a terrible side route, and it only gets worse. Here, have five Shovel Guys! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. Come on. These don't copy our movement because we're not Shovel Knight. No, instead, I just have to somehow not get hit. Please, no bully. Give me this. And I'm out. <sighs> okay. I have it. And the reason why, um, again, we're getting these is because if you don't get these, other than, like, not getting 100%, um, you will have to pay a stupid sum of money for Chester to get the relics. Um, as an example, the Staff of Striking that I'll be getting later on is 9,000 gold! <laughs> I'm fine, okay. Um, Wait a minute, so Chester is not an intruder? Please. <sighs> okay, I'm not going under there. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I've learned some lessons. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I was getting worried. Don't worry. We'll, I mean, do worry, but We'll, we'll see okay, later. I, I, I will worry this entire run. <laughs> okay. Um, so we now have the staff of surging. Um, nice. Striking was the one I'll be getting later. I don't know how much this would cost, but don't worry, because I'll never know. I don't pay for it. Staff of Surging is basically a Shoryuken. Ow. Please. Uh, my health is kind of low. I'll be fine. If anything... Okay, um... Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, go yes. ahead and use the tonic. Please use that. <laughs> so, one of the things that uh, Plague Knight gets is these tonics, which give you one health refill and can also temporarily increase your maximum life. That will persist until uh, you take a death. So these tonics, uh, you can get up to five of them in a run. Uh, it's possible to get more, actually, isn't it? <laughs> okay. uh, yes, we'll be getting an upgrade for that later. Please give me food, a hungry boy. Yes. I was worried during okay. that mid-boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ah! oh, okay. No! Whoops. Oh, no! Come. No! No, I'm dead. <laughs> That's it. Checkpoint's fine, right? <laughs> Checkpoint's fine, but not that one. That one. Oh. So I'll have to fight the mini boss. This is the good thing about 100%. There's a lot of things in your arsenal that can save you from dying. Oh, God, I have to get the money Sometimes they uh, don't work out. So did if I die, <laughs> which I just did, I have to get the money back. Uh, I drop a quarter of my gold every time I die. Please die. Thank you. Um, Grab that checkpoint, please. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm scared, you know? Staff. Good. There it is. There we go. See, that's Cycles. what you're supposed to do. Uh, I do need to, actually, no, I need to take. Oh, right. I need to take damage now. Uh, I'm too healthy. So, <laughs> at the end of the stage. Um, sure. At the end of the stage, I will be Please! <laughs> 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 Maybe out, out of this room. Okay, so this one's better. At the end of this stage, Thank we're you. fighting a, a certain boss, and uh, well, the boss has too many weapons at their disposal, and so we need to make sure one of them can't be used. Uh, God bless Yacht Club Games for making this game. Please give me this coin. Please don't take my blood. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, specifically um, the horn. They made sho Not ooh the, horn, the phase locket. They, phase locket. They made Shovel Knight here behave like an actual player, which is hilarious but terrible for the speed run. So we have devised a way to control this blue menace. We're going to put him in the crying corner. Uh, otherwise, it'll be my crying corner. Mash, 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 mash. Yeah. So he's going to be mashing through this fight and trying to get through the fight. And we just skipped the I core. Yes, if, uh, if we damage uh, him me. past the point at which he uses the I core while he uses the war horn. Use it. There it is. Easy fight. <sighs> at less, at one and a half or less health, he will never use the phase locket, which yeah. is why we took all that damage. Um, he is so adamant on using the phase locket that even if you, in the lich yard, have the phase locket and don't give it to Chester, he still has one. Why? Yeah, we've uh, only so traded two one, items. So War one comes from World Three too. And we're not even. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you also might have noticed that Shovel Knight has a different color. Uh, if you use a color code, so does Shovel Knight. And now I'm doing some shopping. Okay, so I'm going to do some research. Uh, blah, 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 research. I'm going to be... No, I need to give her 100... And, yeah, 100 green coins. Uh, and that unlocks the Cluster Powder, which is an amazing bomb type that I will not be using right away. Um, it's actually really, really good. But first, I need to bully a kid for some lunch money. Do you guys know any? Oh, there's one. Oh. <laughs> Hey, come back here, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get his lunch money. <laughs> so this is Reese, one of the wandering travelers, and uh, I'm going to be concentrating a bit to uh, to the to the music. 
Yeah, so this fight is going to basically look like this. We burst him as he gets out of the corner. We hit him with a grenade as he goes into the corner. Repeat, make sure your timing and positioning are good. And easy, easy as pie. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then dance in his face. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> All right, so now I can equip Cluster Powder, um, and the reason why I couldn't do that before is because Cluster Powder changes how many bombs you can throw and the way it explodes. Now, I can only throw one bomb. I can still whiff bomb throw, which is great for, like, me not dying, because um, I can use it to, like, keep my height. It, Lost City is going to be one of the scariest stages in the run. Oh, fine. I mean, in general... It's, o it's okay because although there's lava, you can just burst over most of it. But, you know, there's always the scary side rooms. There's always the uh, the slimes that are trying to show you who's in charge. Uh, I'm a little behind on this room. Vito skip coming in. Hopefully. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> who's in charge? Me. <laughs> <laughs> for safety, I will grab this checkpoint first. I promise there's better for it. I normally don't, but uh, horrible things can happen in this side room. And they happened a lot in practice. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> they don't have to happen here. Ow. Uh. Okay, good. You know, it's funny because in Tower 2, there's a Mario Maker room, but this looks a lot like that room. Yeah, kind of. And we're still out of the woods because uh, this is the room that usually kills me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> totally controllable character, I swear. Uh, y y yes, there, 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 there's a method ha! to the, the chaos. You might see me doing lots of wiggles. Uh, Is that just uh, like fine control? Yeah, because you really need to make sure that he's exactly where you need it to be. Ah, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, Plague Knight handles like rocket jumps as Luigi. Um, to give a good example, I think I mentioned oh. that during the the interview. Okay, How, okay. that's the invincibility <laughs> plus not hitting him, which uh, was a lot more terrifying. Good, that was weird. And then I'm going to be approaching a very uncomfortable room. I know that's shocking with Plague Knight so far. Um, right, I'm, you're gonna take the intended way to go here. around through the top left. I made it. Cool. <laughs> That's scary every single time. I literally never feel comfortable doing it. All right, so we got the smoke bomb. This is actually pretty good, but it's very expensive, so I'm not going to actually be using it. Uh, can I please? Basically our face lock it. Uh, but I will only use it seldom, not just because it's... <laughs> um, you get me making noises here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. Um, it takes a while to use, it's very slow, and I'm just going to be damage boosting most of the time anyway, so... I'm only going to be using it in very few situations. Where am I? Okay. Slightly concerning when I don't know where I am. And I think now's a good time before we get to Mole Knight for some donations. Absolutely. And I have $5 from Citizen T who says, here's my contribution for hitting 800K during this awesome run. We are less than $400 away from $800,000 for charity. I, we can definitely hit it by the end of this. Uh, we also have $250 from one David TKI who says, I'm bursting to see you play Plague. Heck yeah. I got your back. Thank I made you sure so that much. went toward Plague. Thank <laughs> you. I really wouldn't have minded doing Spectre, but like this character has so much to show off and he's only ever been here for New Game Plus as a race forever ago, five ever ago. Time for another quick one. Oh, absolutely. Just look we have $10 from Kartacha, who says, Shovel Knight Relay Race on GDQ1. Shout out to Mumu, Troy, David, and the entire Spade Brigade. Uh, Kartacha is a proud member of the Spade Brigade, our Shovel Knight speedrunning community. Um, yeah. Very happy to have yeah. so many awesome people <laughs> in that community doing um, doing so many categories. Uh, and once again, shout outs to Norcast and Magic Madman. Get wrecked, Mole Knight. <laughs> <laughs> the moles for king, won't for go keeping hungry. the King Knight uh, dream alive. Now you can say it. There we go, yeah. The moles won't go hungry. <laughs> I jumped the gun a bit. They're not actually going to eat him, nobody worry. Uh, so now that we've finished um, Lost City, I'm going back to the Potionarium to do a little bit more shopping. 
Uh, not coins this time. I'm going to be purchasing Bait Bomb and Magic. I do want that, thank you. And Magic Upgrades, which will just allow me to use way more sub-weapons throughout the rest of the run. <sighs> I have to talk to Percy. But first, I'm going to feed Oolong. That's the thing I like to do. Yeah, so the Bait Bomb is going to be basically Plague's replacement for Shovel Knight's Fishing Rod. Uh, you need it to get certain items out of certain pits and stages, which is why we did Lost City before Iron Whale. Mm -hmm. Also a couple Cypher Coins, right? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think a couple of music sheets as well. Oh, God! Uh, I set loose the thing. Okay, that's fine. More dark rooms here. <laughs> Fine. Cool. Made it. And I remember to switch to the correct weapon. All right, so now that I have a couple of sub-weapons, you'll see me just kind of... Actually, you won't see me. <laughs> I wish I had uh, a controller cam, but don't worry about it. Uh, I'm using those Joy to Key hotbinds, like I mentioned earlier, because I'm going to be swapping between um, sub-weapons, which I can swap between two of them really quickly right now. Um, and I'm going to be picking up the third most important one in this stage later on. Darren, you have this many weapons. It's kind of important to keep track of which one you have on right yep. now at the moment. <laughs> yeah, this isn't quite New Game Plus, but there's still a lot to keep track of. Um, so this stage, Iron Whale, is basically the underwater stage, meaning that I'll be uh, falling um, more slowly, and I will be jumping a little bit higher, um, which can be concerning, because they like to put spikes above jump planes. However, your burst is consistently the same height, God, uh, which I will be using in some cases when I need to know exactly how high I need to jump. Yeah, there's lots of places in this stage where a good visual cue can line up your burst exactly right okay. to, uh, to just get you through some of these rooms. This is how Plague Knight fishes. Of course, this is how he would fish. Give me that. Explosions fix everything. I can think of a lot of problems that are solved with explosives, for sure, especially as this guy. Excuse me, sir. A lot of problems that are caused by explosives, too. Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Okay, and now we have a little bit of time while I'm going through this auto schooler slash mini boss. Um, go ahead and read a donation. Sure thing. We have five dollars from Book, who says, "Let's go, Moo. Shovel Knight is hype. Good luck on the run." Uh, I'm so happy to hear from Book. Um, I play a lot of Final Fantasy 14, and uh, I was in a static with Book at Clear T not that long ago. Uh, by the way, play Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> it's a really good game. Hell yeah, I hear runners happy in the crowd. We oh, beat award-winning Final Fantasy XIV. The critically acclaimed award-winning Final Fantasy XIV. I Mumu, cannot enter. <laughs> Mumu okay. does not have a problem. <laughs> focus on Shovel Knight, focus on Shovel Knight. <laughs> right, there was a sub-boss there. All right, so I have the throwing anchor now. Um, what this allows me to do, actually, this is really funny. One, two, cool. Just skipped a whole room there. Don't worry about it. Um, what? So the throwing anchor is what I'm going to be trading in later for um, Plague Knight's kind of arguably best sub-weapon. It's called the VAT, and uh, all it does, it doesn't do any damage. Um, it puts a platform underneath me. <laughs> you might imagine that that actually has quite a lot of applications with this character. It's on my emergency button. How many emergency buttons do you have? That's the only one I need, but God, it's useful. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. And I'm going to be getting this tonic just in case. Cool. And then this is a fun little setup. Nice. <laughs> Staff is surging right into the anchor. That is amazing. Great. And now we have this, um, the bat. So I want to use tonics. Oh, God. He's got this. He's got <laughs> this. Um, oh. I mean, I could go without, but yeah, why not? <laughs> Plague Knight just takes so much damage. Now, the tonics also increase my temporary max HP. If I die, I'll get it. Uh, I'll lose that temp HP. Whoa! Thank you. Please. Thank you. Give me that. Yeah, there's a little... There's a carrot there. Oh, there's a neat little thing if you play this with the Japanese language rather than English where carrots get replaced with turnips. Yeah, there's a lot of subtle differences. Like, oh, I need this! Uh, this is fine. Please don't stab me. Give me this. Thank you. Let me out. <laughs> oh, that smoke bomb Whoa. is so useful. <laughs> Probably uh. one of those things you want in casual play. <laughs> oh, for sure. 
Do we have time for a very quick special announcement? Absolutely. We have just raised $800,000 for charity. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Everything's fine. 800,000, that's amazing. Now, how, how long will it take us to get to 900,000? Uh, oh, I don't think too good. terribly much longer. <laughs> All right, so here's Treasure Knight. He likes yeah. to sit in the middle of the room. Good. Yeah, Treasure Knight will always throw out the anchor oh. first, but then moves after this are random, and we don't want to see him go to the ceiling like that. We're going to wait for him to come to the ground before finishing him. I I'm trying to explain this, but it's too fast. No time. <laughs> we must keep going. So, now that we've cleared World 2, we have enough coins for the last um, major purchase for the run. Um, this... <laughs> this game could have been in the Mega Man block. This game could have been in the Ninja Gaiden esque blocks, uh, and I'm about to show that it also could have been in a Metroid block, um, because I'm about to turn into Samus. Uh, but first we get this really cute. By the way, the plot of this game is adorable. Um, Plague Knight is super shy. He's trying to make a potion to become powerful to impress Mina. All right, so I need research. I'm gonna yeah, one of the other equipable things is that you can change the nature of your burst. And Float Burst is used a lot in casual play, but for the speedrun, we want to use Spin Burst, which turns the burst into basically the screw attack. Yeah, um, I will be a flying projectile, um, which there is like a minor difference in terms of like the burst have a lingering um, hitbox, which is fine, but like overall, yeah, Spin Burst is the good stuff. And I also got uh, Impact Fuge, which means that my bombs will no longer bounce on the ground. Instead, um, they will just explode as soon as they touch a surface, which is far more consistent. Um, so this is... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Using that platform <laughs> for advantage. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> I need to touch the ground. Thank you. That'd be good. Uh, I the did hopefully get lots of warning to the, the sound team for, uh, for my constantly peeking the mic. <laughs> Look, uh, this is just very exciting. <laughs> it's a Moomoo special. It wouldn't be a stream without Moomoo Scream. Uh, so this was one of the sub-weapon stages. It's supposed to teach you how to use the sub-weapon. This one actually was specifically designed around the bat. Uh, you can clear it without, though, if you get one of the armors, which we'll get the armors later, um, but they're very out of the way. So I'll just make sure to pick them up at the end of the run. World 3 Ahoy. Um, <laughs> more terrifying stages. Uh, these have far more bottomless pits, spikes, and enemies that deal way more damage to compensate for the amount of health that I'm picking up. Uh, this is the dying machine. The crying machine. The, the I'm watch. trying my best machine. Yeah. Um, those enemies, specifically. Those are uh, hover minis. And uh, they not only deal like some of the most damage of any enemy in the game, um, they will push you They'll literally fly up to try and push you into spikes and stuff. And their movement is completely random, cannot be uh, manipulated at all. Not even the task really did much more than like, a, like shout out to Kill A. Um, oh God, I have to do this first. Oh no, uh, I'm gonna be behind on cycles. Please, 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 please. These are some of the scariest rooms. Please, okay. <laughs> but we really want to do this room because uh, the, uh, the arcana that we're gonna get from this stage, the Staff of Striking. Go away. Um, it costs like nine Go away. points. We can't. <laughs> Please, no bully. Afford it. <laughs> really? <laughs> well. Okay, fine. Everything. There's been control. a lot happening. Yeah. <laughs> Mumu was trying to give a shout out to Kalai for uh, making the task for all of the cat all of the knights. Yes. In the game. They're they're so sick. You <laughs> absolutely have to watch them. They show what mere mortals cannot do. So coming up in the next room, we've got a mini boss, uh, the Dinghy Dropper. Anything special about this boss? Uh, for Spectre, there's a really funny thing you can do with the coin. Um, for this guy, I'm just going to be trying to do as much damage as possible. Nice, and then getting out of here. Yeah. Ah, fine. <laughs> there's a good reason for that, though. Um, I will be, give me that. Breaking a lot more checkpoints and otherwise avoiding a ton more other ones. Uh, this is a fun room. Yeah, so in this chest, we're going to get the Staff of Striking Arcana, which is the primary uh, sub-weapon used in any percent, because it does just a simple little whap. Me but you can, But you can chain together a whole lot of uh, hits really quickly. Uh, the difference in DPS is striking. 
Thanks, David. <laughs> that one was planned. I appreciate that you kept this secret the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mumu has no idea what I have in store. I'm never ready for David. <laughs> All right, so before I can actually relax for a little bit, I'm going to have to go through a room filled with three Jawas. Um, there is a setup to get through the room fairly comfortably, um, but if anything goes wrong, it will go horribly wrong. And I have to break this checkpoint because they're starting to get really full of money. Yeah. Bat, so. ah! bat, bat. Get oh. me out, get me out, get me out, get out. Okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> go ahead, read some donations. <laughs> Absolutely, and I have a very fun one. Uh, Fifty dollars from username equals pants who says, "Prepare for trouble and to make it double to protect the world from excavation to unite all essence within one potion to denounce the evils of truth and shovel to extend our double jump to the stars above." Team Plague Knight, burst off at the speed of light. Ah, uh, that is an amazing <laughs> I, that comment. Is oh my god! Awesome. <laughs> yeah, clap for that. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We also have $25 from Einstein, who says, it feels like a missed opportunity that the host was renamed for this run to The King's Spade. And you know what? For charity, anything for you. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just kind of like, I'm thinking about what I need to do today. <laughs> <laughs> you're okay. fine, you're fine, you're fine. I have to go through a wind tunnel room, which um, you might have seen it like very briefly, but the Staff of Surging actually allows you to like ignore wind tunnel mechanics. I'm going to do this real quick. Fall down for a second and go. Scared. Go, 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 go. Cool. Nice. Speaking of spade, I will mention that the Discord is called the Spade Brigade. Cool, I made it. And I didn't use my jump. I know for her, for sure, absolutely. Okay, please let me through. And now I get to fight uh, Propeller Knight, which, um, this is kind of a tricky fight. Um, you have to make sure that the bombs hit the ground because uh, he'll actually deflect them, he'll parry them. Yeah, so he's gonna do a couple of sets of lunges. Uh, at about eight damage done, he will fly into the corner there, which we really want to see yes. happen. And nice. Yeah. You can see the amount of uh, damage that Staff of Striking does when you just chain it together. My, ar my eyes were darting all over the place because like, I need to be smacking with the Staff, don't burn out, switch to the bomb at the last second, and then chuck it, uh, chuck it at him. Uh, Big Boom actually deals a whole heart of damage if you hit with the exact center of it. Um, it's not like super duper precise, but it's also very, very finicky. Big Boom is a well-programmed weapon. <laughs> I love Big Boom. Do we have time for a quick pertinent donation? Go for it. Yeah, sure. We have a $20 from Explode Your Ear. Yes! <laughs> yes! There he is. So glad to finally see a 100% run at GDQ and it's Plague. Let's go. Also, if you die in the run, I will dual cast res you. Well, uh, wait, wrong game. Uh, <laughs> good luck on your run, Mumu. Glad to see David and Troy as well. And obviously, I love Big Boom! Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah! So I'm Black Knight no! 2 is a lot no! like Black Knight 1, but it's a little bit easier for him to escape from the corner that you put him in. And you do have okay. the Staff of Striking to do a little chain of Staff Bomb if you manage to get him back in the corner. Yeah, I can no longer do the, the same stun lock that I did at the beginning of the game. That's um, right. He has less iframes, or he has less time that he's willing to give me to keep him stun locked. And uh, you've got the Cluster Powder. Which I can, that means I can do a better stun lock. If he cooperates, he obviously doesn't like to anyway. Um, so unfortunately, because of the cutscene, um, Mona is not with us for a little bit. Uh, and even more unfortunately than that, I have to deal with Percy. <laughs> um, for now, I have to deal with Phantom Striker. This is a tricky fight. David? What, what happens during the Phantom Sh Striker fight? We don't normally do this fight in any percent. The main thing I really know is that you have to do this fight without taking too much damage so that he will give you the maximum no! amount of gold. Dang. Okay, I would have ideally landed right next to him um, because he's about to drop 2,000 gold uh, because he is so impressed with my honorable fighting. Now, <laughs> you may think it a little bit unfair, but he actually considers the honor not taking too much damage because that's just poor play, but also not healing with tonics. If I heal with a tonic, he'll consider that dishonorable and he won't pay me any money. None at all. He'll give me like 10 pennies. <laughs> all right, Clockwork Tower. So this stage, um, again, World 3 stage, very, very difficult, uh, super daunting. Uh, I'm going to be trying to focus on a couple of the side rooms a little bit more. Um, this stage has 
the mobile gear, which, uh, again, a worthless relic, kind of funny. But um, for Shovel Knight, what it does is it'll one-shot Tinker Knight, among other things. Um, to compensate for that, Plague Knight actually deals double damage to Tinker Knight. So it will still be kind of a similar-ish fight, but a little bit more involved. I'm going to try and make sure I take damage going into this room. So I can kind of get through everything. <laughs> It's just so impressive to see all these bursts, jumps, damage boosts, staff of surging, that <laughs> together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to compliment you. <laughs> I'm trying to maintain control of this character for most of the run. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, he's very difficult to control. You can't control him. Okay, so unfortunately, I have to oh, I have to get that money back. Um, if something goes horribly, horribly wrong, two things. One, I would leave the stage. I don't know what's going to happen in a second. Uh, 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 okay. All right, okay. we're good. Okay. Let's clap for that. Uh, in an absolute emergency, I would have to restart the stage because I have 19,000 gold. I'll drop a quarter of that. And if I die again before I get it, I just don't get any of it back. Yeah, money routing is tight. You can't really afford to uh, lose 3,000 gold. No, uh, that would be super bad. There are ways to make up for it, but they're very time consuming. Oh, God. Okay, I'm fine. I have my, I have my jump. I have my jump. <sighs> ah, <laughs> mm. Still fine. Yeah, and we did just grab the checkpoint. If just, I was like, if I use my staff, I'm probably going to die. <laughs> it was a very dire situation. And luckily, those bags landed in an easy to grab way. So, okay. thankfully, catching up shouldn't be too hard. Do we have time for a quick donation at yes. the quest for our lost goals? Go Excellent. Ahead. We have $25 from Zenith Amusement, who says, "As above, so below. Let's alchemize a solution to cancer." Very nice. Starting to get the 14 donations. <laughs> <laughs> I see people are being inspired by David. Mr. P is always on that grind. He just enlisted me. All right. So now I can actually get the Fleet Flask. This is actually a pretty cool sub weapon. Um, also known as I will be very anxious whenever I have to use it. But uh, what this does is it allows me to move as fast as burst speed, but without actually having to do all the bursting and jumping around. Um, that's great for low ceiling areas, but it's also harder to control, if you can believe it. Um, if I run into a wall while I'm doing that, I actually bonk. Please, I need this coin, these daggers. Please stop it. Thank you. Those daggers are random. <sighs> okay. Kind of relax a little bit. And we'll have opportunity for another quick donation as I do the... Uh, there's a huge segment where I'm going to be jumping over a big pit full of spikes. Go for Absolutely. It. I have five dollars <gasps> from Iri, who says, "Good luck on the run, Mumu. Keep cheating death like always." <laughs> Try. <laughs> okay. We have two hundred fifty dollars from Anonymous, who says, "Got to donate during the Shovel Knight run." Whoa. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. He okay. Never okay. Does makes that. the skip. <laughs> Has that ever happened before? No, not that. <laughs> He said, the thing. Thing. said the thing. He said the thing. Said the thing. He said the thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's happening in these side rooms in uh, Tinker Knight stage? I'm getting more delightful green coins and another very tricky damage boost. Come on. Cool. Whoa. That was excellent. Nice. But yeah, we are going to be going into another auto scroller <sighs> here before the boss. So to talk a little bit uh, about Tinker Knight coming up. Um, I will be trying to position myself to deal staff hits on him. And then for phase two, I'm going to be actually jumping up really early because Plague Knight is just super good at like gaining height that we can actually basically attack him from the very start. Um, I don't really have uh, a whole lot else to worry about at the moment. So go ahead and take over again. Absolutely. I have $25 from Sari, who says, love Shovel Knight, love AGDQ. Thank you for making my workday 100% better as I watch this yes. all sneaky like for chivalry. For chivalry. For chivalry. And for alchemy at the moment. We have $10 from Tulip, who says, digging up a donation for the Shovel Knight run. All right. So I'm going to start with a double jump, get over the first wrench he throws at me. Two. One, two, three. <laughs> Smack. Blinky and you miss it. Oh my god, the floor broke. What? 
That never happens. Yeah, and then we got Tinker Knight in his huge tank. Uh, usually, right after the second frame of uh, appearing in, you can jump up, start staffing him, throw your grenade at him, just burst up, and then we'll just yes. finish there. Easy fight. <sighs> okay, now I get to do some uh, truly horrifying stuff. Um, oh no, you're doing the Fleet Flask stage. Not quite yet, but I mean, I am going okay. to Polar Knight stage, which I will do a little bit of Fleet Flask in there. Uh, so Polar Knight stage adds to Plague Knight's um, slipperiness with ice and more spikes everywhere. It's not something I usually notice bursting through most of the stage. I don't get that luxury because I have to go and collect all the things. Uh, the green coins kind of turn every stage into an obstacle course. Yeah, you have to collect every single one of them. You can't miss them. Nope. Which makes low percent very interesting because in low percent you have to dodge every single yes, one of them. Yes, and there are a lot of them. All right. Cool. A lot, a lot of good boys here. <laughs> Lots of dogs. Awoo. Unfortunately, you cannot pet the dog in Plague of Shadows. Okay. Oh god, these next couple of rooms are scary because yeah. we've got these uh, spike platforms going up and down. Now, if you use the smoke bomb, then you will at least not be able to uh, be uh, killed by the spikes, but you can still uh, take a death from uh, being crushed, So, which is going to make the room after this one especially frightening cool. because the, the platforms here, they're, they're on a tight cycle. You got to go in here, grab the... Warhorn and then smoke go, bomb go, go, and go. hope you can make it. We made it. Let's clap for uh, that. Nice. Hey. That room is so scary and I have seen it go so wrong in practice. Yeah. Huh. Fine. <laughs> right. Then, then we've got another. Uh, this is not so much a scary room, but we're going to be fleet flasking here, <laughs> controlling the <laughs> bonk. Okay, fine. It's okay. It that's could go worse. A, a super hard I'll take that. <laughs> okay. Uh, the main mechanic of this stage for Shovel Knight is those uh, bird bird platforms. The barfing statues? I love them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Plague cannot move them, so he has to use his primary movement to get through these. Yeah, they're still here. It is kind of like a cruel joke. It's like, oh, don't you want to use these platforms like Shovel Knight did? Ha 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 ha. Because of all the uh, that's jumps that we have, fine. it's just a lot. Just lets us play a bit. I'm going to heal. Yeah, yeah, good safety health. Just in case. Did we mention Fleet Blast yet? Uh, yes, because I will be... Ooh, I will be using that aggressively in the next stage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fine. I turned around on purpose. I was like, I'm going to get hit. Oh, right. We got a neat little strat coming up here. Because All we're your normally supposed to go above a room. It might take me more than one try. It's, it might take more than one try. This is a very difficult trick, but we're going to burst under here, vat there, um, almost. Without dying, please. It's worth showing We very off. rarely get, it, get this first try. And yes. we got it. Let's clap. There it is. Whew. Very difficult trick. It's funny because there's two setups for that. Um, one of them, if you have the gold armor, you could just it's called hand touch because you just wait for Plague Knight's hand to touch the background. I should have done this. <sighs> okay. Um, the other one, you just use uh, Plague Knight's um, beak, so you just follow your nose for that. All right, almost done with the stage. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's fine. Okay. okay, it's fine. Why are you guys worried? It, it, it's Plague Knight. No reason. I'm always worried. No, there's no reason. Okay. Oh, okay. I yeah. didn't think about it that way. Yeah. All right, so Polo Knight is going to charge across the stage the second you do damage to him. If you do enough damage to him, he'll charge across the stage again. Uh, we're going to lure him across the center of the stage, use the Staff of Striking as he charges. <laughs> Keeping up the tradition of me pausing on Polo Knight's kill. <laughs> that was totally an accident. Anyway. <clears throat> so, now that we have... Uh, what are we doing, by the way, with these orbs? I never even mentioned that. We're collecting the essence to make that potion. Um, the heroic stalwart essence of all of these uh, knights. We're going to make Pepsi Max. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were making Pepto-Bismol. Uh, the Bepis is, is in the background. Uh, so we do have time for another donation. 
Absolutely. And I have $20 from Rico DLC who says, yes. I love Big Boom! I love Rico. So happy to see Plague and GDQ. Good luck, Moo Moo. Try not to scream too much. Shout out to the rest of the Spade Brigade. Absolutely no promises about the last. All right. So uh, this is a stage that I've been practicing pretty much more than any other thing that I needed to practice for this run. Um, there are some very tight cycles. Now, the intended thing is just pass through one of these crusher segments at a time, you know? Uh, That's slow. I gotta go fast. Yeah, this stage is supposed to teach you how to use the Fleet Flask, um, but with proper use of bursting, it's possible to get through some of these sections without using the Fleet Flask. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> makes it. Uh, Go, 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 You're making it, you're making it. Okay. Oh, that is amazing. No way. <sighs> Good. Now only one more thing to be slightly terrified of. Uh, please don't tell me you're going to swag on the spike wall. I would never. David, how could you possibly expect me to swag on the spike wall? Oh, yeah, I should go. You have so much time. I definitely won't um, try and waste time, right? <laughs> there we go. There's a little bit more. There's the spike wall. <laughs> what if people didn't believe me? <laughs> Is it really a speed run without any swag? <laughs> so my first time ever doing that stage, I actually didn't know that there was a spike wall behind you. Like, I didn't even register that it was there. Um, and it took me a while. I kept bonking into walls and stuff. So by the time I actually managed to get my, my Fleet Flask going, it was pixels behind me, and I was screaming throughout the rest of that stage. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the uh, the tower stages. Um, yeah. yeah, in the background you can see uh, the Enchantress's Reign of Terror, known Slayer of Bitrates. Yes, I was going to mention that too. <laughs> For a second I was like, why don't I just go through the top? Oh right, you need the coin. Is that muscle memory for 100% kicking in? Yes. It will help you so many times. Please, please, please. Ah. When you forget what you're doing, but then, hey, you know what? I just moved through this room the exact same way I did what I was supposed to. Okay. <sighs> okay. I'm going to be breaking every checkpoint. Hooray. Oh, sure. Ah. When Oddbot breaks that checkpoint, you, uh, you get angry at him, but then you break it. That's different. The difference is you need the money. And I need the money. <laughs> oh, God. I got to hurry. Yes. You can make that? <laughs> yes, you can. I didn't know that. You can only make it if you're good at this game. And I am very good at this game. <laughs> I, I believe you. As I would you. have you all believe. I believe you, but also, uh, I don't need to get any exercise today because my heart rate is up. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> and we broke every checkpoint. <laughs> okay. Mm, my hubris. Delicious. Um. Yeah, your, your doing was your own hubris. So... Yes, that was on purpose. All right. Um, take it away while I get back. <laughs> yeah, probably some donations while we get back to where we were. <laughs> Absolutely. We have $100 from Heidi PhD who says, Good morning, GDQ, for the snowy and icy south. Loving this run and had to donate to kick cancer to the curb. <sighs> okay. We also have $10 from Pogo Fish, who says, Yo, is that Pogo the Moo Moo Akai? That is the Pogo Fish. As a longtime watcher of both GDQ and Moo Moo, I'm always super happy to see you in the marathon. Save the nights? Oh, thank you. Oh. Save the nights, yes. Uh, so, <laughs> kind of funny. Um, I kind of have to save the nights. Please hurry. <laughs> 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 I don't have a choice this time, because uh, that's Shovel Knight's choice. They. They definitely made it so that Shovel Knight um, behaves like a player, because he'll also teabag. <laughs> Come on. Sure. I don't want to take too much damage. Yet. Okay. These this. couple of rooms have so many enemies in them that it's really hard to just find a path to get through it. And you take the lower path, of course you There's do. There's money down there. Yeah. He's still breaking all the checkpoints. Of course. Well, we do need the money. I yeah. need that. I need to get... No, there's three reasons. Like yeah. that. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I, I do need a ton of money. So it's kind of like not even... A, I'm not doing it for swag. I'm doing that because I actually just need to. Come yeah, on. you said you needed 42000 at the end of the run? Yes. Twice, because I'm going to do some shopping in between. So I'll have that number pretty much by the end of the stage. Ow. 
Yeah, we got a couple of Dark Rooms coming up. Uh, this one is okay, but the next one is going to have a Hover Mini, and so uh, that gets scary. Give me this. I, I believe you. you're going to bait it out. Oh, no, of course. just destroy it. You don't even mess with it. Don't you mess with it. You tell which platform is solid by which one the rain is hitting. All right, so we've got it's the mostly black... no platforms. <laughs> yeah. <Right. laughs> so we've got the Black Knight fight coming up. Uh, during this first phase, the main thing we're really looking for is to make sure that he doesn't get off his teleport spam attack. We're going to uh, pretty much uh, grenade staff, and yeah, that's gonna get him past that point. Did... Where's the phase get two? Wrecked. Okay, no phase two. <laughs> I've oh. never seen that before. I didn't know you could do that. No, you can, you can definitely skip that just like Shovel, but it's a lot trickier because you don't actually get to like stay on top of Black Knight the whole time. All right, so now we have Tyre 2, kind of the last like super horrifying stage because um, I'll have to be breaking a lot of the checkpoints again. Yeah, so not only does Tower 2 have some very difficult rooms with spikes, bottomless pits, hover minis, we also have the boss rush in this stage. And because of the money routing, we can only keep one checkpoint up. So uh, which checkpoint is that going to be? Do uh, we want one before hover minis or before It'll boss be the rush? boss rush checkpoint. It'll be the boss rush. Because as scary as the hover meanies are, boss rush is even scarier. That, uh, I hate this room. Let me out. <laughs> I will mention I see Yacht Club games in the chat. <laughs> Whoa! Hello. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that money that's under the platform, uh, I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm going yeah. to be stuck. Probably a good plan. So there's a reason why the estimate's that high. <laughs> um, my time is, my, my PB is, um, Right, remember to do the thing. Like a 111, the estimate's at 125. Uh, with good reason. So hopefully it won't go that high. Um, but I think I should still beat it by a fair amount. Do we have Got time for a couple quick donations? Absolutely. Go for it. Fantastic. We have $10 from Spice Merchant, who says, Explosions really do solve everything. Plague Knight is the best of the Shovel Knight cast, and I'm happy to see it be run. We have $5 from EV99, who says, shout out to Plague Knight for having some of the best movement of all time. Oh, that is certainly movement. Yeah. yeah. What's going on here? Plague Knight is so fun to control and so chaotic. OK. Cool. I did the thing. I'm going to break this checkpoint. Right. So this next room coming up is the really scary one, because we've got lava, we've got bottomless pits, we have all of these green coins that we have to collect. And then normally, in any percent, we'd take the upper path and not deal with these hover meanies, but they're going to uh, be in the way. Whoa! I'm fine. That works. <laughs> Everything's fine. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Excuse me, sorry, I don't want any. I love Big Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one was close. OK. That's the last checkpoint I have to break. I just have to make it through the auto scroller. Which can sometimes be scary. Uh, Ladder Knight uh, is oh, sometimes. Oh, I took my time with it for sure. Taking your time. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Okay. So throughout this auto scroller, uh, uh, there's a couple more things that I have to collect. Um, I'm also going to be trying to farm the enemies for gold if I can. Um, I don't just get to ignore them. I do want the money from them. Uh, and then I also need to make sure that my health is it's right where it needs to be. So I really don't want to take any more damage than that. Um, I have to do the boss rush, which has Shovel Knight at the end of it, and we'll be trying to do the same stun lock on him, which requires the same low HP setup. So other than that, we have a little bit more time. Fantastic. We have $20 from Kupio Ala, who says, good luck on your Shovel Knight run, Moo Moo. Donation goes to Plague, just so I can shout out Speed Frog, who routed this. Oh. Yes, huge shout outs to Speed Frog. Um, still has the second place. Ah, time. <laughs> I could not manage to beat them while de-rusting um, to my best. But man, their runs are super optimized. Excuse me, sir. Can I have some money? Time Thank for you. another? Yes, go for it. We have $50 from JBEB and Endoff, who says, watching GDQ with my five-year-old before he goes to school. We've bonded over Shovel Knight and GDQ, and I can't wait for all the memories to come when I can finally take him to an event in person. <sighs> all right, boss rush. So a little bit about Boss Rush. Uh, the enemies all come up in random order, with the only exception being Polar Knight, who must be one of the first three. Um, 
And also, Shovel Knight will always be last. Shovel Knight will always be last. So, so yeah, we do have a little bit more weaponry going up against uh, Spectre Knight, and we'll use the Staff of Striking to try to keep him in the corner there. Uh, after each fight, we'll try to position ourselves uh, just right. Uh, Mole Knight second. Yeah, we got Staff of Striking from Mole Knight now, so we'll just hit him as he passes through. Uh, get to the right side this time rather than the left side. Got to watch that power meter because we don't want to run out. Otherwise, you got to wait for the whole thing to charge back up before you can use it again. And yes, there is health refills after every boss, but we won't be using them because we want to be at the right amount of health for Shovel Knight. Which means, unfortunately, they're more like other hazards for me. <laughs> yeah, oh, we oh, don't yeah. want to get the chicken. We do, however, want the tonic. Yes. That was semi-intentional. <laughs> mm, I don't like that. Yeah, unfortunately, we ended up Ooh. in a bad position for Tinker Knight, but made it up nicely. Uh, unlike in the, uh, the regular fight, Tinker Knight will be vulnerable instantly when he goes into his second phase. Let me up! So we'll be able to just go right up here and then just start damaging away. Uh, jump up here, throw out the cluster, finish him off. Okay. My health is still looking good. I still haven't run out of power. Please don't be Propeller Knight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Propeller Knight is also going to change Ow. a little bit because in Propeller Knight's fight, he broke the floor in his fight. But <laughs> that's not going to happen in this fight. So no! instead... No! Oh, we got uh, the We that's got the health. Like that's going to make Shovel Knight a little bit annoying. Uh, a lot annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and to make matter is even worse. King Knight is looking like one of our last two knights, and King Knight is not somebody that you want to try to damage yourself down on. Yeah. Treasure Knight, however, is... I don't really have any tonics either, so like if I did uh, lower my health at this point, it would be kind of really rough. Nope. Ow. Could be doable. Depends on who's left. And like, Treasure would be the one if I really wanted to do that. Um, I guess this will be a good example of what the Shovel Knight fight is like. If you have to fight him the own natural way. First, I never miss an opportunity to bully King Knight. Yeah. Thank you. I don't like getting King Knight right before Shovel because it's like... You, you gotta watch for King's confetti attack and you have to kill him before he uses it, so... Uh... So normally the way you would set this up is you have Shovel Knight jump knight. Do that and just get him in a corner. That's fine if he already doesn't want to play nice. Unfortunately, there's there, no real way to skip i -core. So now I just have to, every time he does the arc, i -core, um, the lock it, I just can't do anything. Yeah. I hope to pick up the fight where I left off. It's kind of hard to manipulate a boss when we can't hit him. Please, give up, Shovel Knight. Oh, that was an amazing unplanned Shovel Knight. <laughs> Mostly kept under control. But he's a cheater. And yeah, Shovel Knight definitely um, will not be saving the knights. Oh, that's rude. Now, he's got things to do, too. <laughs> Fine. I'll find my own way out. So, next I'll be doing the cleanup segment of the run. I'm going to start backtracking and doing all the stages that I haven't been doing, uh, which includes a couple of the side stages, some... Boss fights, yes. All of champions first. So, this is a place where I get to fight the guards. Now, the guards are one of the worst enemies in this game. Um, they are well programmed to avoid your attacks. Not so much if you use the base bombs, but because I'm using cluster and spin burst, there's going to be a lot of dodging from them. So I have to be very meticulous about where I do my attacks from. Yeah, do you need to destroy all the portraits? No, why would I do that? They're very nice. I mean, I'm destroying some of them, sure, right? I guess it's just defeating the guards that you have to do. Yeah, that's the only thing I need to get out of here. Okay. Oh, God. And then here comes the big attack! <laughs> yeah, if you can't tell, I don't see this stage Whoa. very often. Okay. Oh, but that guard movement, they just 
flipping all over the place. It does make it very tricky to fight them. I can't believe neither of you two is like, whoa, what are you doing, buddy? You're missing the green coins. Whoa, bro, buddy, buddy, you're missing the green coins. Okay, but you could have put a little more character into it than that. <laughs> I can do it for you if you want. Uh, oh, no, you're there missing all of the green coins. Now I'm convinced. So, yes, David, I am missing the green coins and that music sheet. Uh, and discard, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the worst enemies. Um, so you actually have to do this place twice. Excuse me, sir? Thank you. There we go. Ah, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Wow, Big Boom got the guy through the wall. I'm just very patiently waiting for him to stop jumping. Cool. There we go. Oh, no, I missed some of the coins. Okay, so I have to do this place twice. But the reason why I have to do that, I'm just going to keep holding that over everyone. Uh, the first time you do it, um, you can get some of the coins, you can get some of the stuff done, but you get one music sheet for doing it the first time and then one for doing it a second time. Oh, uh, hello? Hi. <laughs> that has <laughs> never happened before. Wow, that's two this run. <laughs> I've literally never burst through the cutscene like uh, through the entrance like that. That's frame perfect, isn't it? It is. <laughs> yeah, how do you get? Okay. Cool. Now I have to break all the portraits this time. So because I have to break all the portraits, this is kind of where you would actually worry about getting everything. Thank you. And this is some of the best music. <laughs> yeah, this is a bomb. This is what everyone paid for. This is what they, the donations went to, is uh, breaking all these portraits that they paid so much money to get into the game. <laughs> See, some people might think that the portraits are guilty, but I think they were framed. I saw that look on your face. <laughs> I, I'm trying to do the rest of this now while just... <laughs> <laughs> David, please. There it is, there it is. David warned us how bad he would get, but none of us are look, ready. Look, 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 I warned you repeatedly, and you said no. I said I want let this. me have it. I also said that. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm going to just laugh myself there we go. here now. Uh, something else to note for this stage, some of you may know that uh, on the right side, there's a secret little uh, room, side room that you can go to, and I believe that's where the Kratos fight is. Uh, <laughs> Yacht Club did quite a lot for this game. Um, there's uh, Battletoads, um, <laughs> there's all the Amiibo stuff, and there's Kratos in, in this game. But um, none of that stuff is required for 100%, because again, in order to try and keep the run more accessible for everyone, we don't include the console exclusive stuff. However, if someone wants to do um, a, a run of 100% that would include that and stuff. We have a an additional leaderboard um, for submitting any category. Uh, at some point, where I was just like, you know what? Go for it. If you want to run five tonics, the fastest five tonics you can pick up in the game, why not? God bless. <laughs> By the way, you like fighting guards? No. Have some more. <laughs> Please behave. Ow. Oh, never. They will never behave. Of course not. Would you ever behave? Uh, if I was a guard? I mean, I would think that's part of my job. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I didn't. Come on. Good. Ow. That was a brief instance of Big Boom being not so well programmed. Um, if you do damage with Big Boom too quickly, it actually won't register the second hit right away. So you do kind of have to space them out. Uh, Hooray, I made it. Hooray! 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 Shout out to the Bluey Run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the armor outpost is mine. And with it, I will be suffering a little bit more. My minions are going to be all over the place. I don't want to talk to any of them. And I have to fight Mr. Hat. Uh, Mr. Hat's kind of a tricky fight, because he does take knockback, but he doesn't get stunned. So I need to try and deal a bunch of damage to him while somewhat keeping him controlled. And I can't burn out on my staff. You burned out on your staff. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I was going to push it and be like, uh, where's my staff? Am I the only one who thought that Mr. Hat's collar was a big, like, mutton chop mustache? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'll never look at him the same way again. Wait, I actually did think that this whole time. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's his coat. 
Okay, so I'm buying a couple more things. Uh, that was a huge Sonic bag. Here are the other sub weapons that I didn't get. I didn't even talk about the ones that I'm not getting from the... Ooh, nice. Um, from Stranded Ship. Berserker's Brew, which has like a very niche use that I'll talk about later in the run. I'm getting this cursed object. I don't want to think about it. I, I don't... Hi, Baz. I don't want to think about him either. Baz is optional. He'll give you a music sheet that I already got from Rees. Um, he can actually really um, just troll me for the rest of the run. Because uh, he might block me. And it is faster not to fight him unless if he blocks me like 500 times. Also, how many movements he does on the map. Yeah. So this is the forest of fishing, not phasing. Um, this is a probably the last like horrifying stage of the run. Uh, it's teaching me how to use the bait bomb. Ah, ah, fine, okay. <laughs> yeah, fine. Everything's fine. Cool. There's a lot of, there's a wide range of emotions I just went through. It's like, I'm fine, I'm not fine, I'm fine. I'm not fine, I'm fine. Uh, but that's normal. <laughs> I'll let you know when I've decided what I am. <laughs> While we're going through the final horrifying stage, can I read a donation that may uh, apply? Yes! I have very, uh, very specific instructions. As, uh, 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 whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Who was that from? Apologies, I cleared it out before because I was too invested in the bit. Uh, we will get that back. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated. It was a very good bit. <laughs> Let me out! Okay. Ooh, I have enough money! I've been paying attention. Okay, do this. Good. Yeah, you're way over the money amount. Good! <laughs> Cool, and then I just grab this music sheet, and then I'm out. Mint, Mint condition. condition. <laughs> that is all 420 green coins. Nice. Yeah, it's nice to have confirmation immediately that you got it. Yeah, normally I might have a little bit of a panic, especially as I come right here, um, because uh, this is where I would find out if I did that or not. Uh, so we get a little celebration. Another cursed object. <laughs> the Pandemonium Chalice. Um, so later on, I'll uh, be turning this in for a upgrade. Um, that I will hopefully not be subjected to. But first, a word with Percy, a long word with Percy. I'll be purchasing everything else. I love this so much. I just, I buy all the things. I want to give a special shout out to Law Park. <laughs> uh, these are all arguably useful. Uh, Lob will allow you to throw your bombs upwards. Um, I have accidentally bought it before and been very sad. Uh, but while I'm shopping, please, uh, alongside uh, the money spending, the money donationing. Absolutely. We have $50 from Granuale, who says, Loving the commentary on this Shovel Knight run? Forgot how fun this game was. Thanks for keeping everyone warm and cozy while so much of the U.S. is frozen. Less than three. Absolutely. All right. And then now I'm going to turn in all of the music sheets to Percy so that he can ride on the back of them. <laughs> that is a lot of money. It gives you money, thankfully. Um, <laughs> poor Maestro. <laughs> okay, so this is the Trouple Pond. Uh, long may his stem grow. He's part fish, but most importantly, part apple. It's a core part of his identity. <laughs> Enjoy the dance. Gotcha. <laughs> Enjoy this dance. Uh, this is an absolute work of art. Shout outs to Sandy and Waz on the uh, Yacht Club game team, uh, the pixel artists for the game. We have them to thank for this. And uh, shout outs to Jake Kaufman for this amazing soundtrack. Uh, shout outs to all of Yacht Club. Um, I, I was kind of sad that like the run was like at this hour, not specifically, because I, I don't mind being up at this hour, but it's 4 a.m. for Yacht Club, and some of them are in chat right now, and I'm just like, oh god, I yeah, hope they, that you guys got enough Yeah, the, the Yacht Club is in chat. I have been reading some of the stuff. It is a collar for Mr. Hat. They have confirmed that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> if <laughs> there are some really cursed confirmations we've had a couple times. Do we know what Shovel Knight is under the helm? Sorry? Do we know what Shovel Knight is under the helm? I'm not sure. Might be a fish. Lots of denial, but it might be a fish. I'm guessing a cat. Anyway. Nobody knows. That's how it's done. Okay, so. <laughs> 
Now I get to buy some armors. Uh, one of the first things that I get next is the Pandemonium Chalice. This will randomly change my bomb layout and change my color. I need to menu very quickly because I don't want that to actually happen. Uh, <laughs> my color will actually just keep changing and my bomb loadout will actually change, so I'll have to menu it back, which is kind of cursed. All of these armors, um, they're very cute. <laughs> None of them are particularly useful, so I actually go with the fabulous, nice, gold armor. Maxed out. Yakov said, no, we don't. There is no proof. There is no proof. They will deny it all. <laughs> oh, Baz is being nice today. Oh, wow! Shout out to Baz actually getting out of the way. Just as a quick aside, that donation that was uh, told me to read as if you were falling in a pit was from Flying Toaster Zero and was for $10. <laughs> Thank you <Thanks>. so much. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually going to use the Berserker's Brew because it allows me to super armor through everything. That's why it's not exclusively useful. Uh, but now I can dance. Yes, this is the dance that Plague is practicing for to dance with Mona. It's very cute. Uh, a fun little thing is that you can use that dance most anywhere, but if you actually try to do it in front of Mona, he'll be too shy to do it. Yes. It's very cute. Uh, shout outs to Tolu, by the way, who is um, the madman mad enough to get what um, record for every uh, category of Plague Knight, similar to uh, how I did that for uh, Spectre Knight. <laughs> Moo Moo screams are quite a thing. Tolu screams are also a magnificent thing. <laughs> that was a room. Anyway, we're almost done. I've basically gotten everything that I need to worry about. I just need to defeat the last few bosses. Wow, I feel super relieved, except this is a horrifying boss. So here's the Enchantress. I have to try and not die. Yeah, we're basically going to hit her with a flask, uh, take a damage boost left, hit her with another flask, hit her with the staff a few times, and then she's going to go into her diving phase. And we want to do as much damage during that diving phase as possible. We'll go down there to stab her under the stage. She had a lot of health. I didn't like that. Yeah, I normally <sighs> want to see like six health or less. Three bars. Yeah, uh, thankfully, so long as I have enough staff to deal with her, it's... Not a big issue. But the longer she's down there, the more likely she can do terrible things to me. All right, so the next fight's actually um, one of the harder fights in the game. Uh, I'll actually have to be fighting Plague Knight as Plague Knight, which is kind of ridiculous uh, to think about. Um, hello? Uh, that's very strange. Oh, I think my controller came out. Uh, the, oh, no. Wait, oh, the no. wire's right there. Oh, the wire. Oh. What is happening to your controller? Wait. Oh, right. I'm playing wireless. I forgot about that. Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. Okay. Oh. So maybe I'm okay. Do you need batteries? No, no. Okay. You, you're no. good? You're no, good? No, I'm good. Okay. No, we're I'm fine. We're fine. Oh, right. The so, boss fight. That's a nice controller you have there, eh, Luigi? So this is a fun little Easter egg that Yacht Club put in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we call this the Luigi kill. Does wins by doing absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very funny Easter egg. Um, it is actually faster to do the fight the regular way, but come on, who was, who's going to miss an opportunity to do that? <laughs> so, time ends on the last hit of this fight. This is um, the Plague of Shadows. I have to attack the open beak weak spot, but I have to open up the weak spot by getting the cauldron. Ow. Yeah, the cauldron will take seven hits or so before it uh, puts... Uh, this boss in a vulnerable phase. And when that happens, the boss drops down. We're going to burst up, uh, throw uh, two flasks in there, and then use the staff. Time. Yes, time. There's not a split there, Moo <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no split there. And I'll hold down so people can see a little bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the run. Uh, I'm actually going to verify very quickly um, by going through the credits and see the lovely 100% there. Because it might not be the run, <laughs> but hopefully I got absolutely everything. What could you have missed? Hurry up, victory. Those are good. Um, music sheet, maybe? Maybe a music sheet would be like the only thing I could possibly miss. Shout out to Breadpan, old record holder right there. For any percent? And 100 percent verified. Oh, okay, I feel much better. Now we get to watch this lovely cutscene to end out the run. Thank you so much for having me at GDQ. Thank you so much to my lovely co-commentators. Thank you so much for being here and supporting you guys. Mm -hmm. I really, really appreciate that.
Um, shout out to all the staff, everyone who's been working super hard on uh, keeping this event running. Uh, I'm Mumu Akai. Uh, I don't stream um, all that often, uh, not just because I've been super obsessed with Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> um, I've actually been um, in, a, I'm in a much better spot right now. I actually switched careers, so I'm super comfortable financially. And I'm going to go back to game dev as soon as I get back from GDQ. Uh, so I'm really excited and happy to be doing that. Thank you all for having me. <laughs>